Hey guys and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a tutorial on this spring inspired makeup look. I know I am late to the party and everyone has their spring makeup looks already up on their channels but um, I decided it's better late than never. This is what I think of when I think of spring and summer makeup looks. It's kind of, you know, not too much. Just really focus on glowy skin and warm corally peachy tones. So if you're interested and want to see how to get this look then please keep watching. So for this tutorial I'm going to start by priming my skin and I'm just using my go-to primer which is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is their smoothing primer. I'm just dabbing that on using my fingers and then just kind of very lightly smoothing it over the areas where I want it to fill in pores and um, even out my skin. For foundation, I'm actually going to be combining two, and the two that I'm combining are the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Light Medium Sand, and then also the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade 03 Light Beige, and I'm just using a Dampened Beauty Blender to blend that all in. Then I'm gonna fill in my brows using my go-to eyebrow pencil, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to speed through filling my brows in because I do have a in-depth brow routine up on my channel, and I will link the video for that down below if you're interested. Then I'm gonna do a bit of color correcting, and I'm using my MAC Conceal and Correct Duo, and I'm taking the Mid Peach shade and applying it to the areas that tend to be a little bit darker underneath my eyes, and I'm just blending that in using that same Dampened Beauty Blender. Then to do some concealing and highlighting, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Medium Neutral, I believe. And this is a new purchase of mine um, because I've heard such great things about this concealer that I decided to try it out. And um, I have to say that I have mixed feelings about it at this point. I'm definitely going to continue to try it out and see how I end up feeling about it. Um, but it's not my favorite so far. I'm so surprised. Um, but then I'm going to set that all in place using my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just picking that up on that same beauty blender that I used to blend out the concealer. Then I'm going to pick up my Sigma F25 Tapered Face Brush and I'm just going to use the excess of that setting powder to kind of move it around to um, set the rest of my foundation. Then I'm going to pick up my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and apply it to my lids using my Sigma P80 Precision Flat Top Brush and this is going to prime my lids for shadow. Then I'm going to go into the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. I'm picking up the shade Beaches and Cream and applying that to the crease to set my eyeshadow base in place. And the brush that I'm using to apply it is the Sigma E40. And I'm making sure to really set the crease because that's where we're going to do the majority of the blending. And then I'm going to pick up the shade Sora and apply it to the upper part of my crease as a transition shade using my Sigma E35 tapered blending brush. And I'm just making sure to pick up small amounts of shadow and then kind of really blending it back and forth in my crease to make it look nice and diffused. Then I'm going to pick up the shade Coco Bear by Makeup Geek which is a gorgeous medium brown shade that has a lot of warm undertones to it and I'm just applying it to the outer corner of my eye in sort of a V shape using my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm really just kind of focusing a lot of the shadow right there in that outer corner and then just bringing a bit of it into my crease as well to make it look blended and gradient. Then I'm going to pick up this absolutely gorgeous ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Alchemy, which is a sheer kind of shimmery shadow um, that I'm just going to pop on the center of my lid to just really brighten up the eye makeup look. And I'm just using my Sigma E55 shader brush to apply it. Then I'm going to go back into the Manny palette and pick up the shade Sora again and apply it to my lower lash line using my MAC 219 pencil brush. Then I'm just going to go right over that with um, Coco Bear as well just to deepen it up a bit more. 
Then I decided I wanted to add a little extra something to my lower lash line. So I'm picking up the shade Henna by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm applying it very close to my lower lash line using my Sigma E21 smudge brush. Then I'm going to line my waterline using my MAC Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC20. And then I'm going to pick up this gorgeous shade called Artemis and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten the whole look up some more. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I have really been enjoying this mascara. I'm always on the hunt for a perfect kind of drugstore mascara and this has definitely been impressing me. Then to warm up my skin, I'm going to pick up my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks and the outer perimeter of my face using my MAC 135 brush. Then I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that Hoola bronzer on my NARS Eda brush and I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with that. So I'm just running the product along my temples and underneath my cheekbones to kind of further define them. Then I'm also going to use a little bit of that bronzer to contour my nose as well. Then I'm going to take my Morphe E48 brush and apply some translucent powder underneath where I contour just to clean it up a bit. For blush, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani blush palette and I'm mixing together the two shades Easy and OC and I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks using my Morphe E4 brush. For my highlight, I'm going to be mixing together the two shades Bubbly and Dripping in Gold from the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. And I'm applying it to the high points of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my Cupid's bow as well using my Morphe M310 fan brush. And I'm going to line my lips using my MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. So when I was trying to come up with the perfect lip color to go with this makeup look, I decided that I was going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Dolce. And this is such a gorgeous nude shade with some pink, corally, peachy undertones to it. And I thought it would be so perfect for spring. I'm definitely going to be using it a ton this spring and summer. So then that completes this look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I just want to say thank you so much for the support. I think it's such a great thing to have a entire community of people that are lifting each other up and supporting each other and have similar interests and are able to share them. The support and the comments really do make my day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.